Welcome back. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the dinner banquet hosted by the Sultan of Brunei, His Majesty Sultan Hajj Hassan Al Bolkiah, in honor of their Highnesses and Excellencies on the occasion of the marriage of his son, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen. At the end of the visit, His Highness bid farewell to His Majesty Sultan Hajj Hassan Al Bolkiah, who asked him to convey his greetings to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness. Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness also bid farewell to the Crown Prince of Brunei, His Royal Highness Prince Al Muhtadi Billah Bulqiya, and His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen, wishing the couple a happy married life. His Highness Sheikh Nasser departed Brunei after he accepted a special invitation to attend the wedding ceremony of His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen bin Sultan Hajj Hassan Al Bulqiya, the son of His Majesty the Sultan of Brunei, where His Highness congratulated His Majesty the Sultan, His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen bin Bulqiya, and His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen, wishing the couple a happy family life. Upon his departure, His Highness Sheikh Nasser was bid farewell by the commander of the Royal Brunei Armed Forces, Major General Dato. Haji Muhammad Hazemi Bul Hassan. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the Sultanate of Brunei share distinguished historical relations strengthened by mutual visits between the leaderships of the two brotherly countries. The mutual visits between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Sultan of Brunei, His Majesty Sultan Hajj Hassan Al Bulqiya, affirm the strength of relations and reflect the two leaders' deep awareness of the importance of building strong relations. Relations between Bahrain and Brunei have become more consolidated and established over the past years based on several strong foundations including the second official visit of His Majesty the King to Brunei in 2017 during which he stressed the importance of building strong and solid relations with Asian countries in general and with Brunei in particular to be followed by the visit of His Majesty the Sultan of Brunei to Bahrain in 2023. The agreements and MOUs between the two sides have also strengthened existing relations within the framework of the exceptional relations between Bahrain and Brunei His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad visited Brunei in response to a special invitation to attend the wedding of His Royal Highness the son of His Majesty Sultan of Brunei, Prince Abdul Mateen, which affirms and reflects the depth of relations between the two brotherly countries and opens new horizons for bolstering cooperation. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for recognizing the exceptional role that the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, plays in providing urgent humanitarian aid and relief to the people of Palestine. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the commendation of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of the National Campaign Day of Solidarity with Our People in Gaza. We are with you, which was able to raise more than $20 million, praising His Royal Highness's contribution to this campaign with his generous donation. His Highness affirmed the support received by the RHF from government led by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He hailed His Royal Highness's keenness in implementing the directives of His Majesty the King in providing humanitarian aid to the people of Palestine, which reflects Bahrain's firm position in supporting the Palestinian people and their legitimate right to establish their independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the praise from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister is a tribute to all contributors and workers to support their brothers in Gaza and a great incentive to continue giving. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the organizing partners of DP World Tour in the presence of GSA Vice President, Zahana Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Tourism, Fatma Sayrafi, the Chief of Royal Protocol, Major General Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Fadala, the CEO of the Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Nasser Qaidi, the Secretary General of the Olympic Committee, 
فارس الكوهجي the chairman of the board of directors of the Royal Golf Club Captain Walid Al Alawi and representatives of DP World Tour Tom Phillips and Freddie Chaimasir His Highness Sheikh Khalid stressed the importance of completing all organizational aspects and preparations to host DP World Tour which will be held under the patronage of His Majesty the King from the 1st to the 4th of February at the Royal Golf Club His Highness was briefed on the latest preparations carried out by all the organizing partners to host the World Tour to complete them in the best possible manner as the tournament will be held under the patronage of His Majesty the King which requires doubling efforts to organize the events in a manner that enhances Bahrain's status and affirms its capabilities in hosting various sporting events. His Highness expressed confidence in the various organizing partners in directing the World Tour in a decent and honorable manner. Babco Energy signed an agreement with the Bahrain Olympic Committee, the BOC, and the DP World Golf Group to sponsor the DP World Tour. The signing of the sponsorship and partnership agreement was witnessed by His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid in the presence of the Vice President of GSA, the Minister of Tourism, and a number of senior officials and attendees. It was signed by the CEO of Babco Energy's group, Mark Thomas, the Secretary General of BOC, Faris Al Kohiji, and the Executive Director of the DP World Tour, Tom Phillips. The CEO of Babco Energy's group expressed pride in sponsoring the DP World Tour, stressing that Babco Energy's sponsorship stems from its belief in the importance of supporting the youth and sports movements in Bahrain and contributing to the success of the various tournaments held in the kingdom based on the principles of community partnership and the keenness to support various national events. The Secretary General of BOC affirmed that the sponsorship of Babco Energy Group will have the greatest impact on achieving the desired successes of the DP World Tour. The executive director of the DP World Tour expressed pleasure with concluding the agreement, which will enhance the value of the global tour, which expresses the interest in organizing the event in the best manner. He expressed appreciation for the sponsorship, which will contribute to the success of the DP World Tour. The Special Representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, the Ministry's officials, and the heads of diplomatic and consular missions on the occasion of Bahrain Diplomatic Day. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed praised His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's designation of a diplomatic day for Bahrain. He congratulated the Minister, the Ministry's officials, and the heads of diplomatic and consular missions on this occasion, which reflects his Majesty's interest in diplomatic work. His Highness noted the Ministry's development and Bahraini ambassadors' efforts in implementing the foreign policy of the Kingdom, seeking its interest aboard, abroad, strengthening its relations with other friendly countries, and supporting its regional and international position. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain's foreign policy is based on moderation, openness, positive interaction, constructive communication, and keenness to build bridges of friendship and cooperation with other countries in implementation of the directives of His Majesty with the support of and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He expressed appreciation for the heads of Bahrain's diplomatic and consular missions and all employees of the ministry wishing them success. The minister and the ministry's officials and heads of Bahrain's diplomatic and consular missions expressed thanks to His Highness for receiving them and appreciation for his support of the ministry. The Special Representative of His Majesty the King, Ghazan Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak, received the heads of the Gulf Press Association on the occasion of holding their meeting in Bahrain and assigning the kingdom as the permanent headquarters for the Gulf Press Union in the presence of His Majesty the King's advisor for media affairs, Nabil bin Yaqub al Hamar, and the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan bin Abdullah Naimi. His Highness congratulated the Union on this important step in the development of Gulf journalism. He commended the Gulf Press Association for their contributions to developing Gulf journalism, highlighting Gulf issues on various media platforms, strengthening GCC supporting their growth, and wish them success. The
The meeting was attended by the chairman of the Saudi Journalists Association and chief of the Gulf Press Union, Khaled bin Hamad al-Malik, media advisor to the secretary general of the GCC, Fahad Mohammed al-Mutayri, the chairman of the Bahraini Journalists Association and secretary general of the Gulf Press Union, Isa al-Shaiji, the chairman of the Kuwaiti Journalists Association, Adnan al-Rashid, the chairman of the UAE Journalists Association, Mohammed al-Hamadi, the chairman of the Oman Journalists Association, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak al Raimi and the president of the Qatar Press Center, Saad bin Mohammed Rumehi. The Representatives Council held its weekly session chaired by its speaker, Ahmed Lim The council discussed a draft law on amending Article 116 of the labor law for the private sector. It also discussed a proposal on stopping the dedication of 1% of the salaries of employees and workers in the public and private sector for unemployment insurance. The council approved a proposal on continuing to disperse a housing allowance of 100 dinars to citizens benefiting from the Mazaya program. The Supreme Council of Health Chairman Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received the Secretary General of the Arab Board of Health Specializations, Dr. Omar bin Awad Al Rawas. Minister of Health Dr. Jalil bin Sayyid Jawad Hassan was present. The meeting reviewed areas of enhancing cooperation between the Arab Board of Health Specializations and the Bahrain Council for Health Studies and Specialities. Dr. Sheikh Dr. Mohammed stressed Bahrain's keenness to support the progress of the board in parallel with its efforts efforts towards enhancing medical education and health services. He praised the Bahraini caterers who graduated from the various pioneering programs offered by the board and their role in improving the health sector in the kingdom. The Legislative Authority held a meeting with the Foreign Affairs Minister to discuss Bahrain's foreign affairs in light of His Majesty the King's comprehensive development process. The meeting was headed by the Representatives Council Speaker, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the First Deputy Chairman of the Shura Council. The Speaker affirmed the importance of continuing bilateral meetings which stem from the joint interest and constructive cooperation between the Executive and Legislative Authorities in implementation of the Royal Directives with the support of His Royal Highness Sir Crown Prince Prime Minister. He expressed appreciation to the Foreign Affairs Minister for updating the Legislative Authority on the regional situation, international developments and the discussion of vital foreign affairs issues. The Speaker noted that coordination and integration between the official and parliamentary diploma diplomacies will achieve the goals of Bahrain's foreign policy, hailing Bahrain's stance in supporting of the Palestinian cause and the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people. The Foreign Affairs Minister affirmed that Bahrain's foreign policy is is based on the visions and directives of His Majesty the King and the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He stated that Bahrain's policy is based on moderation, balance and flexibility and serves the nation's highest interests and endeavours to establish the principles of peace, tolerance, coexistence and fraternity. The minister added that Bahrain's stance towards the situation in the Gaza Strip is principled and firm as it calls for a ceasefire, the protection of civilians, release of all hostages and detainees and delivery of humanitarian aid to the Strip. It rejects the displacement of the people of Gaza from their lands and affirms the importance of providing practical and peaceful dimensions for a comprehensive and just peace in the Middle East and the establishment of the Palestinian state. He Affirmed that Bahrain stands towards the tension in the Red Sea is clear and declared, rejecting the threat to freedom of international navigation as these practices violate international laws and threaten global interests, food and energy supplies, and the security and stability of the region. The first deputy chairman of the Shura Council hailed Bahrain's endeavors to build international partnerships and its balanced diplomatic approach. The Minister of Labour, Jamil Ahmedan, affirmed that the positive results of labour market indicators for the year 2023, which come as part of the economic recovery plan for the years 22 to 24, reflect the strength and sustainability of growth in Bahrain's labour market and its ability to generate more jobs and create promising opportunities for citizens. Labour market indicators showed that more than 29,000 citizens benefited from the job opportunities provided in 2023, mounting to more than 40. 
98% of the annual priority goal of the economic recovery plan, which is to employ 20,000 Bahrainis annually. The number of beneficiaries of the job opportunities provided to new those who had never worked in the private sector reached more than 8,000 citizens. More than 11,000 Bahrainis were trained last year in various training programs, which are funded by Temkin. Temkin is expected to launch a program packed a package aimed at supporting 50,000 Bahrainis a year, which will contribute to employing Bahrainis and enhancing their career development. The executive and legislative authorities continue their joint meetings to discuss projects and initiatives aimed at prioritizing citizens in accordance with the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King. The executive and legislative authorities are witnessing advanced stages of partnership which has made Bahrain the focus of international praise and a pioneering model. The two authorities are working to adopt national initiatives to achieve the desired goals for the benefit of the country and its citizens. Their close cooperation is reflected in a number of laws and legislation in various fields and specializations and resulted in the creation of legislative environments capable of continuing the development achievements that have been made thanks to the visions of His Majesty the King and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs organized a roundtable entitled Free Trade Agreements between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the countries of the world as part of the diplomatic forum with the participation of Bahrain's ambassador to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. Sheikh Fawaz stressed the importance of the economic aspect in foreign relations and that the volume of investment between Bahrain and the UK is increasing, recalling the recent visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to London, which witnessed the signing of seven agreements. He added, that the current negotiations on the free trade agreement between the GCC countries and the UK are in advanced stages and that the signing of the agreements will enhance a number of potential incentives and gains for both parties. The Northern Governorate, in coordination with the Ministry of Housing and the Urban Planning and ISKCON Bank, organized a mobile branch for housing finance initiative. This initiative aims to provide consultations to citizens wishing to benefit from the housing financing program. It is scheduled to be organized in all governorates with the aim of reaching the largest possible number of citizens. The initiative is the result of the cooperation between the governments and the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning in organizing such initiatives that introduce citizens to new housing housing services and answer questions and inquiries related to these standards and provisions to benefit from the housing financing program and access the latest services and financing programs.